previously on Breath of the Wild. Whoa. Oh, that was definitely a beard. Make sure you watch out through the wind. Mm. If you want to get more ladies clothing, come back anytime. <laughs> Hello, sir. I need to talk to you. I need to talk to you, sir. Stop running away from me. Get back here, sir. Uh. Safata. Mm. S I, my name's Bozai. I'm 35, single, and ready to m love jogging, especially on sand. Yeah, everyone says I'm tenacious as a tick, and I think some of them meant it in a nice way. For sure they did. You you out here on your own? Pretty rough and tumble place. Wanna hang out with me? Nice sand jogging. Ah, you notice these old things? Yeah, they're my sand boots. They allow me to traverse the desert without being slowed down at all, so jogging is a breeze. If you'd like to check them out, gimme, gimme, gimme them. Huh? Oh, well, here's the thing. These sand boots are super rare, and I'd happily give them to you, but... Wait, this is a golden chance to woo? I mean, sure, yeah, I'd love to give them to you, you hungry little boot monster. But first, a favor. Ever heard of the legend of the eighth heroine? I love heroin. Hmm. Everyone's heard the legend in the Gerudo region about the seven heroines, but some, ta some tell of an eighth heroine. Wiped clean from history, and no one knows why or how. A phantom heroine, known to all but seen by none. I've been taken with the legend since I was a child. Find her, show me the eighth heroine, and I'll give you these sand boots. What do you say? I'll go look. Uh, yes! Uh. <laughs> According to those who idolize the eighth heroine, she is enshrined somewhere in the Gerudo Highlands. Apparently, they even have a nickname for her, the Bronze Giant. Catchy. Beyond that, I don't really know much. Mm. Yeah, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. And he gives me snow boots. Very nice. Uh huh. Shut up, 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 shut up. Yeah, he has a crush on me because I'm a girl. And now I can get into town. Haha, nice. Heck yeah. I'm surprised they just let you waltz right in. <laughs> hmm? Yet another traveler. How did you get in here? Oh. Seems you have something rather interesting there. Oh. You stand before Lady Riju, Chief of the Gerudo. Declare your business, but come no closer. Hold on, Belair. This one appears to be more than a... I can't do that voice for too long. Hold on, Belaria. This one appears to be more than a common traveler. You there, what's your name? Hand gestures. Link? And what is it you've come all the way here to tell me, Link? I can calm the Boris. You think you have what it takes to subdue something so powerful as a divine beast? The only ones who could ever control them were champions like Lady Urbosa, and all of the champions died in the Calamity a hundred years ago. Hmm, hmm. Beliara, a memory just jumped into my head, something my mother spoke of. When the Calamity happened, the Princess of Hyrule placed a fallen swordsman into a deep sleep. That swordsman, much like our new friend here, was named Link, though it always seemed more legend than fact. But Lady Riju, do those same stories not also say that the Hylian champion carried a legendary sword? I see no such weapon in this person's care. You guys don't need to keep pointing it out. I'm trying to get it, okay? I'm just taking my time. Hmm. They do indeed. If I recall correctly, it was called the Sword that Seals the Darkness. The Princess of Hyrule supposedly hid it away in the Lost Woods. Hmm. What of the device on this one's hip? It appears to be a precious relic of the Sheikah. I can't imagine they would give something so valuable to a simple drifter, can you? I don't remember ever hearing of a Hylian Vi among the champions. Oh. Wait a moment, you're a Vo. <laughs> a Vo within our walls is a great crime, but a Vo who is a champion. 
Well, you'd never... We'd never mistreat a friend of Lady Urbosa. But if you're here to help us with Naboris, then we are allies. Mm. You saw it in on your way to our town. Divine beast Va Naboris cloaked in a massive sandstorm, hurling lightning at any who dare approach. Mm. We have to do something to stop it, but we have yet to find any way to appease the divine beast on our own. If you truly are a champion, perhaps you will be able to help enter Naboris and calm its anger. Lady Riju, I don't see how you can trust a complete stranger with something as important as this task. Perhaps if this person were first to prove his worth by recovering your stolen Thunderhelm. Ah, uh, yes. An interesting suggestion. You see, there is only one thing in all of Hyrule that can withstand the lightning from Naboris. The Thunderhelm, a family heirloom and relic of the Gerudo, but as Beliera says, it was stolen from us. You needn't worry, Lady Riju. If he truly is a champion, this should be an easy task for him. Oh. Our soldiers can tell you all you need to know about the thieves who stole Lady Riju's heirloom. Head through this arc, and it will lead you to the barracks. Then see out Captain Tiak and ask for a full report. Without my heirloom, you'll never be able to approach Naboris. <laughs> you know, I take heart in having such a rare visitor as yourself, Lady Urbosa, must be looking out for us. Uh-huh. 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 Hello. What are you doing in here? This is the barracks of the Chief's Guard, not a place for tourists. We're on high alert after the recent theft, so you should clear out. What? Beliara Sayo? My apologies. I'm the officer in charge of the soldiers, Captain Tiaki. The chief's heirloom was stolen by thieves belonging to the Yiga clan the other day, so everyone is on edge. Yeah. We've determined that the Yiga's hideout is in Carusa Valley, but the soldiers are all exhausted, so I was just thinking about requesting some extra help. Hey everyone, listen up. This highly invites the great to help us, so offer her any information you can. Ooh. Consider yourself a part of our unit. If you have any questions, my troops will be happy to help. <laughs> uh, okay. Get out of my way. I have to do something. What do you mean you have to do something? Great, you got the last of my free time with the grading. What's the matter? I manage a shop that specializes in handmade accessories, but I've run out of flint. I need it to make my items. If only I had ten. Ten flint. I can dream all I want, though. Accessories? I use rupee, sapphires, and other gems to make accessories. Each gem, gem type has its own power that it can transfer to whoever wears it. There's nothing I can do about it not having any flint, though. Well, I have... I, I have... I have... I have flint. I... You know, I have I have flint. I uh, here's some flint. Do I have ten? Oh god, I hope I have ten. Uh, what? You're just giving these to me? Oh, thank God, I had ten. <laughs> but I can't take this all from you with just a sarxo. We hardly know each other, and you've been so nice. The shop's been closed so long, I hardly have any inventory. Oh, of course. Now that I have some flint, I could make a jeweled accessory for you if you'd interested in something. Ruby, sapphire, and topaz. That's fire, water, and electricity. Uh, electricity. Or maybe ice. Probably topaz. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> dang, that was kind of... Oh, dang. That was kind of a slap. Ah. Cool. Cool. I don't really need it, but, you know, whatever. I was kind of hoping for a diamond one that protects against, like, ancient whatnot, but you know, whatever. Uh, I just need to find my way out of here now. Dang, she's thick. Dang. Damn. 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 She's got, like, no booty, though. It's, like, all thighs. Jesus Christ, those thunder thighs. I'm not objectifying women, it's just a video game. Guys, come on.
Screw this. See, now's the time when I wish that I had bought uh, the sneaky armor that's in, I think, a Tenno. I do have the sneaky mushroom, whatever, but yeah. This is a stealth mission, which is unfortunate, but. Hello! Oh? Uh... Blah, 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 shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> yeah, just make all that extra noise, Link. Um. Alright, so there's this big boy over here, and we have to be very sneaky. This game is for children. Ugh. I need to remind myself, I'm an adult playing a child's game. If I don't get this right the first time, I'm going to be embarrassed. How did he not see me just now? That's honestly just embarrassing for him. Um, inventory. I need these nanners. Uh, far. I need to put them like. <laughs> Have nanners. Okay, beautiful. I remember the first time I played through this, I didn't realize it was a stealth mission. I thought it was just a speedrun thing or like kill them all. So I just like tried to speedrun my way through it and it did not work. I died so many times trying to fight my way out. That's not the way to go. Well, you get a bunch of free nanners. And topaz. Beautiful. Yep. Please tell me I can get up here. Oh no. Come on. Can you really not get up this thing? Well, that's just embarrassing for Link. It's literally made out of wood, too. Like, it's not... Oh, there's... There's stuff down there. Um... I'm gonna wait for him to turn. This might be a bad idea, but... Nobody's questioning my big, um... Gust of wind in the middle of nowhere? Alright, I'm gonna grab this uh, chest up here. Yes! Can you...? No, okay, I didn't think. All right, nanner time. Eh. I didn't work. Uh, let's try that again. Okay. I'm not gonna risk getting that. Bro, if you're going to signal that you're going to drop it down below, actually drop it down below. There we go. Oh. 
God, I thought I was going to get caught just then. That's a really special chest, just for some bananas, I gotta be honest. Even five arrows is more special than a... Well, hello. I don't remember there being chests in here. I maybe missed that. Topaz, nice, nice. Yep. Yeah. Man, three chests. Probably another to- Ow. Probably another topaz. Okay, wow. You're really just gonna give me two topazes and then a ruby? Walking. Dancing. Rearranging furniture. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Hey. Wow, you're really fat. Man, your shoulder needs to get checked out. Who the heck are you? And what are you doing in my napping spot? Why are you napping in the dirt? Wait a minute. That thing on your hip, is that... Could it be a Sheikah slate? If it's a Sheikah Slate, then that means it's you! You're that Link guy I've been looking for! Oh, look! My scouts are out in the field looking high and low, but you just wander into my hideout! Oh, excuse me. I haven't introduced myself yet. Mm. I am the leader of the Giga Clan. The strong. The burly. The one and the only. Master Koga, now prepare yourself. 